Hello guys and welcome back. Today is a premiere, you can for the first time see me, so hello everyone. I'm very happy that you are on my channel and I thought uh, today I will make a quick video on how to install Steam because uh, some of you guys asked me how to do that and it's uh, pretty straightforward and I will show you every step how we do it so welcome now the first thing is i will show you how it will look for example i have here a dota 2 open and i will just do a demo <coughs> let's see favor for example and it's running pretty good you know you have a constant fps and uh, even on max settings it looks quite well so let's see now of course it's a little bit slow because i'm also recording on 4k video so of course you will have some drops in the frame rate but as you can see when we are inside it is pretty good and just to show you guys uh, we have audio let's do that a little bit like that and you can see i'm on max settings like that and as you can see we have our game over here go tattoo of course i'm not uh, playing multiplayer right now but uh, trust me, I've never had any problems. And of course, Dota is just one game. Let me just open Steam really quick, just to show you guys. Let's see Steam. And as you can see, you have here the full Steam library because uh, Steam decided to make uh, Steam available on Linux so they have uh, ported all the binaries to the Linux uh, runtime and that's why you're able to download every game that is available on Steam. Now how did I do it? Um, basically I just followed the Arch Wiki and I will just show you um, let's see so you can see there is an article steam and it goes step by step what you need to do to install it and we will do that together so the first step is enable the multi-lib uh, repository all right so what you will need to do is you will go uh, you need the uh, administrator rights, so sudo mvim or vim or any text editor you're using, etc, pacman.conf. And then you can search for multi-lib, let's see, and then probably on your system, uh, these are actually commented out like that and all you need to do is just uncomment these two lines over here and you have to save the file and then you have to run sudo pacman s y y like that and now you have as you can see oops i'll do it again as you can see you have here multi-lib so multi-lib basically allows you to run a uh, 32-bit uh, programs on your 64-bit uh, operating system so without of that then the next thing we will need is we need 32-bit version opengl graphics driver so uh, you can click on this link and you will see here a command you can just uh, copy paste it over here and as you can see for example on my computer i have two a uh, graphics card a vga graphics card and a uh, nvidia 
graphics card and of course for gaming or heavy stuff like uh, video editing and stuff like that you will need a proper graphics card i don't think the intel one will uh, suffice but uh, you can try it out all right and then as you can see we have here a table and for example in your system if you have amd you will of course need the amd ones but i have intel and nvidia and you can even choose between uh, open source drivers and proprietary drivers so like you wish for example i have intel and uh, nvidia so i will download pseudo pacman s for example, XF uh, uh, 86 video Intel. Uh, you will need the OpenGL driver. I will choose Mesa. I will choose uh, NVIDIA. And over here, you can see NVIDIA updates. And then, and this is very important, you have to install the OpenGL Multilib because this game is actually using the Multilib, so you will need these drivers. So for Intel, as you can see, you will need the Lib32 Mesa. And for NVIDIA, you can use the same or you can even use a proprietary one, NVIDIA updates like the lib32 nvidia updates and then you can just download these packages as you can see i have everything installed already so i won't install it once again and then you can run uh, the installation and then as you can see if not already done during installation you must generate the en a us utf8 local so if you followed my install guide for arch linux you have already done that but uh, in case you haven't you will need to go to sudo mdc local dot gen and then you will have to search for en us like that and as you can see, I've already uncommented it. If in case you have it like this, you will need to uncomment. It uh, is enough if you uncomment only that one, but uh, you can also uncomment this one. So like you wish, uh, save and quit. And then of course you will need to local gen. This will generate the locals like that and of course you will have to do that local gen. you will need a sudo for that you will need the administrator rights so as you can see then it's generating the locals and of course i have already done that but uh, as you see it's uh, generating all of them once again like that all right then uh, since the gui heavily uses the aerial font you should either follow microsoft fonts never i will download this uh, document as dtf like that and as you can see i've already done that so i won't do it once again and if you use system d network d from network management install lib32 system d so when it's sudo pacman as lib32 system d you will need that too and if you use system d result for dns follow the steps to fix i've never done that and it works so i think you don't need that all right and then what i did was uh, i've done a reboot so i just uh, type here reboot and then your system will uh, start up once again 
and then all the drivers should be ready and then of course you can start steam like that uh, of course you can uh, use the menu you can use it uh, or start it out from the terminal so like you wish as you can see the chat opens close that and you will have the library so also something you need to do is you have to go to settings and then over here shader pre-caching and just remove this and that because uh, if you don't you will have uh, to wait a long time for a uh, Vulcan uh, before you start the game so just uh, disable these two and also what I faced an issue with I'll show you what I mean I faced an issue with uh, i3 so when I started up Dota and I switched for example like that as you can see now my active window is the one behind then this will crash so what I've done is first of all um, my i3 config as you can see this is my i3 config file and if you have um, if you have this floating minimum size and floating maximum size uh, do the floating maximum size uh, the size of the screen and this you can find out by running x render like that now i have a dual screen i have two screens connected but um I will just use the first one they are the same uh, resolution anyway so I did uh, uh, 1920 by 1080 like that the maximum and the minimum doesn't matter that much so this is just in case you will have some troubles with your window manager and as you can see we are inside I can go full screen I can quit out of full screen I can uh, move it around like that and it's working pretty fine as you can see everything is working pretty good and to be uh, sincere I didn't try out any games uh, except for Dota so I don't know really but uh, I just expect that everything will work fine and that's basically it thank you so much for watching the video and see you next time